Okay, this is video two on how to draw a transcription, and we are going to be drawing this famous um, Peter Paul Rubens painting. He's from the 1600s, and my kids are just asking me, repeat your question. Um, what is it about? What is what it, about? it about? We don't, it looks like some kind of hunt. There's a giant hippo, there's lots of activity. It looks like a whirlwind, it's almost like a tornado of energy. There's a giant hippo with scary big teeth. We just saw Fiona at the Cincinnati Zoo on, a, on video and it wasn't, she wasn't scary like this. So it seems a little exaggerated on how scary the hippo is, doesn't it? But there's a big fight between men and beasts and the men are on horses and there's wolves and all kinds of things. So these guys might do their own transcription on the floor. I'm gonna demo over here. And my husband is kindly doing the um, videotaping. So I put this on the wall because I figured most people don't have easels. If you have an easel, you can set up a drawing board and do it that way. Make sure if you put this up on your wall that you use some kind of tape that's painter's tape or something that will peel off and it won't take the paint off of your, um, of your wall. So I am going to draw this. It's a, remember, it's a transcription, which means I am drawing it as if I'm drawing from life. I'm not trying to make a copy of this. So I want you to draw from this as you would draw from the model. That means I'm gonna start with a very gestural, open, loose, quick sketch of what's going on, and I'm not gonna get stuck in any details. So I'm going to um, start the biggest kind of activity seems to be sort of the hippo in the middle. Now are you guys gonna draw too, or? No. Okay. This is what she used for her tape. And she used this. If you don't you have a chamois, I just have a cool. I just have a piece of paper towel, and that works fine. If you do have a chamois, uh, even better, because you're definitely going to be making mistakes as I just did. So you can see, like this guy's head is going to end up here, and then his butt, and then I've got an alligator tail. Right. I've got the Mr. Hippo. I've got this knee that comes up. Mr. Hippo? Yeah, and there's a turban, and there's a horse with a mane, and it kind of comes down, and there's a leg, and there's a leg. And this and is the tape that you use, and this is the tape that you use for drawing. Yep, yep. So in a minute, I will. Painter's tape. We'll keep going. Now, this part might get kind of boring to watch after a while. It's kind of like watching paint dry, I imagine watching someone draw over time, but I'm very quickly trying to, despite the distractions in the house, get a sense of the whole thing and the energy. And you'll notice that my hand is really smooshing this. Now, you guys had a choice. Um, I'll try to demo the other way too, uh, to use either vine charcoal or non-traditional methods like you could use crayon, you could use cut tape, you could use even some kinds of paint to draw with. And this kind of paint. With tea. Okay. All right. And now, and again, we're focusing on the forms, not the lights and dark. Although with a charcoal, it's hard not to eventually accumulate that. Yeah, accumulate. Okay. All right. Should we take a, a pause and then we'll, we'll start up after I've drawn for a little bit more. But this is the way you kind of start. Very loose, very big, get the whole thing in.